Dr. Soyan Starg has been involved in space research projects for more than 30 years. From 1975 to 1989, he participated in programs coordinated by the former Soviet Union. In 1971, he continued in this field in Canada, and currently he is with York University. His talk today will be Gravito Inertial Propulsion Effect Predicted by the BSM, Basic Structures of Matter, Supergravitation Unified Theory. Test. You want the wireless one? My presentation is mostly from a scientific point of view, but uh, it yeah, but uh, it matches uh, the UFO phenomena. And uh, here I would like to present some uh, criticism about some scientific uh, adopted uh, postulates about space and about the physical vacuum. There is a methodological error in the Michelson-Morley experiment. And uh, this famous experiment written in every textbook claims that uh, it uh, proves that the ether doesn't exist. This experiment is uh, done about 1984. But later, 70 years later, it was found that uh, the error is of methodological reason, because in that time, the, the relativistic uh, effects and the theory has not been well understood. And the experiment is made by the very precisely, but using uh, interferometric methods. And interferometric methods, uh, the light detection difference doesn't appear between, because two counterfeit effects fight each other. One is the Doppler shift, and another is a relativistic uh, clock range change. And they compensate the effect, so it appears that the light velocity, light velocity doesn't depend on the motion of the object. 70 years later, one professor, Stefan Marinov, made a number of experiments that he was able to detect the difference in light velocity. So in fact, in the lab conditions, he detected uh, motion through space, through some medium. And this motion is with a velocity about 300 kilometers per second. In fact, this is against the whole vision about the uh, the vision about the universe, uh, the Big Bang, the Big Bang model, according to which we have to move with the speed of light. In fact, Michelson predicted some experiments, but he was not funded with the chopped light velocity instead of. Uh, uh, instead of continuous. In, 20, in 120, Einstein claimed that the general theory of relativity without ether is unthinkable. But he still excluded the possibility of uh, the material nature of the ether as envisioned by Faraday and Maxwell because not working model has been suggested so far. Detection of the absolute motion means existence of space medium. 
The, then the question is how we can understand such enigmatic phenomena like UFO, and there is a lot of other phenomena in physics, just not understood and uh, without such basic uh, uh, understanding of the space that there is a medium. And if there is a medium, it is obvious that should be another way of movement of this medium. Like the boat is moving in the sea and the uh, submarine not interacting with the continent, but interacting with the medium. So the true physical model of the space medium must put a light on the relation also between the gravitational, electrical, and magnetic field and must understand deeper the gravity and inertia. The, the basic structure of matter, which was published initially seven years ago, in fact started from such concept of uh, submaterial particles. Uh, and uh, these two submaterial particles interact in pure empty space, which is uh, in a classic sense, not by gravitation, but by supergravitation. That is uh, inverse proportional to the cube of the distance. And, uh, but uh, these particles can congregate in uh, some structures, well-defined structures, and such kind of structure defined fact, the, the space. So in the space, this structure propagates uh, uh, in distance, the forces between two material objects through this structure, and it becomes the Newton law of gravity, which is the inverse proportional to the square of this distance. So it is obvious if this structure propagates the Newtonian, Newtonian gravity and also the light electromagnetic waves, so some kind of modulation of this structure could perform effects that appear enigmatic. Uh, I don't have a time to explain here the physics. It is pretty well explained in the book. And, uh, but uh, by modeling the, the basic element of the space, uh, this structure, the underlying structure, I call cosmic lattice. And the individual node of the cosmic lattice, it has a shape of four rods. And uh, they are, because they have of two uh, fundamental particles, and they, they, uh, they vibrate in the such a way that they define the basic uh, fundamental constant. And uh, the relation between electrical, magnetic, and gravitational field is become apparent when investigated these oscillations and the this supergravitational law. Another thing quite important is that uh, this uh, sub elementary particles that are much much smaller than elementary particles um, they are indestructible matter they not only build the space, but they also build the structure of the elementary particle, material structure. And here uh, I have unveiled the material structure of the electron, the smallest particle stable, that match all the features, physical features of the electron, and also unveil some very important feature. That electron have oscillation frequency, and one of the oscillation frequency of the electron matches the oscillation frequency of the cosmic lattice knot. So the electron, when moves, he is like some, uh, like a screw, but simultaneously oscillate. And this makes quantum mechanical interaction. And that's why he has preferable velocity that match excellently the quantum velocity in the Bohr atomic model. And this is important because in this way, the electron, we can understand how the electron interacts quantum mechanically with this cosmic lattice. 
number of important parameters.